previously on One Life to Live. If you don't keep Al away from me, I will do everything in my power to make sure he goes to prison for what he did. I call this painting Joanna. How does Lindsay know about my dead wife? You slept with your fiance's mother. This is not something she's gonna get over. What's your name, son? I don't know who I am. <laughs> Go ahead. Why? Because they're mine. What are you doing here? Professor Reynolds invited me. You have to leave. Well, why? I haven't even got a chance to give her my present yet. That's all right. I'll give it to her. You've got to go before it's too late. Well, I just got here. Why do I have to leave already? Because, well, you shouldn't... You just have to. Jen, right? Jen's here? Is that it? There's no way they're going to win the... Go to the Super Bowl. Yeah, but well, you know, I can always use some extra money in my pocket. You care to make a wager? Hello, gentlemen. Why, well, Ray? Would you rather I call you mom? <laughs> Ray is fine. Okay. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> what are you doing here? I was invited. You have a problem with that? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, well, isn't that too bad? So what do you have there? Some more ammunition? It's part of my present for Antonio and Carrie. Ah, I see. So you're going to throw it at them? I'll hand it to them. There it is. The awe-inspiring Gannon wit. Excuse me. What was that all about? Nothing, bro. Oh, really? Nothing? Hey, come on, come on. What's going on with you and my, uh, my latest stepmother? Come on, Mom. Is Jen here or not? As a matter of fact, she was. Well... Don't worry about it. I, I got everything under control. No problems. Oh, there is a problem. Mom, I'm fine. Yeah, but she's not fine. We just finished having a conversation just a few minutes ago. What, about me? Yes, and she made it quite clear that if you don't stay far away from her and Kristen, she's going to make sure that you're sent to prison for arson. She actually said that she would send me to prison? If she goes to bow with what she knows, I won't be able to protect you. Why is she doing this to me? Why does that girl do anything? She's not a nice person, no, Al. Don't. Oh, whatever. All right. I just know she's somewhere here in this party. I know Bo is standing right behind me, and you cannot be seen by her right now. It just doesn't make any sense. I mean, why is it that all of a sudden I can't be around her or Christian? Perhaps she doesn't want you ruining her wedding plans. How could I do that, Mom? No, it's got to be something else. It doesn't matter. This is not the time or the place to try and figure it out. You can't let her see you, and you can't let her go to bow with what she knows, please. Okay. All right. Fine. I'll leave. Thank you. But I'm going to find out what the deal is on this thing. Your new stepmother and I aren't exactly getting along. No kidding. I had noticed. What happened? She threw wine on me. <laughs> I hope it was white wine. No, red. Two bottles worth. <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, it's kind of a long story, but we were locked in Ace's cellar. And, well, a third bottle almost put him in a new time zone. Okay, okay. So that explains that reference you made to ammunition, huh? You know, I'm really glad you're enjoying this. Well, you, you know, you're right. You're right. I really shouldn't because uh, it could have been a felony. Yes, it could have been. Somebody could have gotten seriously hurt. Yeah. Dial M for Merlot. Now, that was a joke, right? Well, you know what? It, it really it doesn't sound like a felony to me. It sounds a little bit more like a lover's spat. Yeah, well, it's not. I mean, first of all, she's married, and secondly, I can't really stand the woman. I think she's growing on you, Hank. I think it's like she's a coli and you are room temperature beef. Oh, Hank, come on. Hank. Yeah. Hank. Oh, uh, it's, it's woman trouble, you know. I, I guess I worked him over a little bit about it. Doesn't look very happy, no. No, he's not. He's not. Uh, I think I went too far, but I'm gonna call him. Yeah, see, the thing is, 
It's usually me that has this messed up love life. But for the first time in a long time, things are going right, you know? I, I have the woman with me that I want, and everything's just smooth sailing. Right? Right? Right. Obviously, I haven't been keeping up with the social pages. <laughs> Hello, Nora. Congratulations. We got a good man. Yes. Yes, he is. Excuse me, I'm just going to get us fresh drinks. Gabrielle Medina. Well, if anyone can handle her, that would be you. <laughs> <laughs> Wacky world. Yeah. But, you know, she's, she's good for me. I, we work good for each other, and... I'm happier than I've been in a long, long time. That's wonderful. You deserve happiness. Thanks. I hope it all works out. Thanks. It means a lot. Then I hope that you and I will always be friends. Wouldn't have it any other way. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> On the next One Life to Live. You really don't want Natalie being a part of our wedding celebration, do you? Which part would you like to hear first? Natalie slept with Seth or Natalie's trying to break up Christian and Jen? What have you been doing behind your back, Sam? I've been looking for Todd. Todd? I need a favor. 